Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading from my beautiful Scorpios for the week of December 14, 2015. And if you'd like to have a reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. And I would love if you can also subscribe to my channel. Please like and share my videos with your friends and your family. And let's look at your reading for next week. So before recording the video, I always um, pre-shuffle the card and always ask for spirit guidance for this upcoming week. I am as well a Scorpio. And so let's see what we have for this week, Scorpios. Okay, we have here the Three of Pentacles. So, by the way, this deck is by Morgan Greer. I think it's it's good thing sometimes to look at different type of deck. It's still a tarot deck, but the illustration is very different. And when it comes out in a reading, especially in this position, it means that you're you're working on your craft. Um, it's very different than in the Witterate tarot or deck because you see this person, the Three of Pentacles, is working on his own. Okay. So it means that whatever the position that you have, it, it, for example, if you are in school, maybe now you'll be working intensively in your exam. Maybe you have decided, you're like, you know what, I'm not maybe fully happy with this last session. I, had, I didn't have the time, but now this time I'm going to put everything that I got in my in my exam. Or it could be that, um, you know, you're... you're uh, at work getting a new position or you're t going towards a new position but I feel you have gained something so maybe you're aiming towards a new position and through this you're being becoming better at your skill okay whatever you're doing is just it shows that you have refinement in in the work that you imply yourself in whatever area that it could be it's a very good card because it shows that you are allow to take the time to do your work however you do your work the way you apply so you could use your style you could use your but there's something very personal in what you're crafting in whatever area of your life so it's a great card for Scorpio and let's see what we have in the near past position okay you have the six of swords in this position I feel that what the energy is telling us right now is you really have to if you want to gain whatever you want to gain or you want to be whoever you want to be you have to let go of a lot of things because six of swords does the energy of abandonment or abandoning because it's not just looking at the future but it's really pressing to leave so, you know, it's kind of important. There's like a movement there, okay? So it's important that you know, Scorpio, that next year, knowing that your ruler, Mars, will be in Scorpio starting January the 3rd, hasn't been in Scorpio for nearly two years. Now you're going to, you, you cannot be in the background still, uh, you know, having a plan, you have to have already started to establish something or put the forward action in order to for you to gain what you're looking for or to be where you need to be. Okay? And it's just telling you that if you are, it's a good thing. Or if you're not willing to, then you're going to have to. You're going to have to really, and it's also a kind of change. You know, it could be that in love, now if, for those that are single, if you want to have this relationship in your life, you're going to have to change completely. And you see, you know, there's just going to something that you're not sure. Yes, of course, you have to let go. You have to change in order to manifest, which is great because you're going to do exactly that. Let's see what we have in the future position for Scorpius for next week. We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So now you're looking at it and you say, okay, I want to have this and I'm going to get, you know, get this. And I'm looking. So, yes, for the next few months, you may have to 
restrain yourself a little bit because also you have Saturn in your second house. So in terms of money, you know, it's not the time to invest. It's not your time to invest your money right now. It's not the time to start any new business, to be honest with you either, because there's a, there will be a Mercury retrograde next month. So, and it will be in your fourth house, okay, in Aquarius. But um, mainly what I feel this energy is saying, it says, just um, lay low. Re you won't miss out on anything, uh, you know, but lay low and don't overextend your resource. And that could be your energy, that could be your time, that could be your friends. You know, maybe now you need a... You, you want to go forward on different things and you know that you have the right friends around because you have the Jupiter in your 11th house. It's not the time to go reach out to them right now. Just It's just a time for you to, with what you have, to do the best that you can, which is crafting, you know, your skill. And you'll do so well. You already have the, you know, you go from three to four. You're already there. So, yes, preserve what you have uh, gained. You know, and you will. It's just not a time to overextend. Those big projects, keep them in a, for a few weeks. And, it, and you know, the truth is that you're still working. You're not losing anything. It's just that maybe you have to put some money there. Or maybe it's, you know, it's just money will come out more than uh, that you, you have been seen for the last few months. But remember, it's a question of momentum. Use this time, you know, to just get stronger. And you already doing it. Just make sure that you, you know, you don't entangle yourself in, um, you know, and like I said, in something that would ask you for time, money, or, you know, other than it's, if it's for you, you know, you're, you know, if you may be example at, at work and there's a lot of overtime, it says that, you know, you if you do this overtime, you may not have the time to craft your skill. Maybe you should let go of the overtime, just trying to find a way to remain on the budget and still work on that, you know, or maybe have the second job that, you're, that you like better. I mean, you know, just maybe don't overextend yourself. And what we have in the outcome position for my Scorpio for next week we have here the moon as the outcome. You know, Scorpio never like to be like put on hold. And the moon is just to tell you it's to put on it's to put a little bit of hold because what happened is the new moon was in Sagittarius in your second house. But at the same time it's a new moon, it was overshadowed with Saturn, you know, conjuncting the sun. So you had, you know, Saturn conjuncting the sun in Sagittarius and having this new moon is just, it's telling you, oh, you know, yes, in time. And also, not only in time, but it's a question of momentum. Having Scorpio in your sign will be great in terms of your energy early January. But remember, you, you'll have this Mercury retrograde, so you may have been, you may be out of sync, maybe you have too much energy compared to other people right now. And I feel that that will be the case for probably a long time in 2016. And you may not feel that people are like, are positive or energetic when you're just, you know, you have this clarity now, you're walking in the path that, you know, is your desire, you're making decision that affects you positively, positively, and still you're not getting maybe the reward right away, but, you know, pay, Scorpio are patient, you know, you have been working very hard, okay, and sometimes it's just those, the energy of Scorpio, sometimes you, things could happen really great in your life, and it's just happened that people around you may not, you know, have the same type of energy, or maybe you have to go and meet new people, remember, Jupiter is in your 11th house of friends, so go ahead, but, um, you may have this energy of, you know, you being, you know, shut down a little bit uh, or not being on the same level, but it's not you, okay? So don't spend too much time thinking about it. It's just the energy from the universe, okay? 
So I wish you a great week, my adorable Scorpios. And please, if you like this video, like and share with your friends. And you can also subscribe to my channel. And until next week, mwah, sending you lots of blessings. And I love you, my Scorpios. Bye.